I think I found it. No, it was on my end. Wait a minute. I started out with sound, Salty Wolf, and then it went quiet? Or you only heard the sound from my countdown music, and then you didn't hear me? No, it was totally on my end. It was totally OBS. What's weird is I recorded something earlier, and it worked just fine earlier. It, like, forgot what devices it was supposed to be connected to. Which is weird. Weird. Okay, well then. Well then. Uh, let's start again. So, oh, safe, so now it's a good time. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the hundredth stream of um, of Satisfactory. This Satisfactory series, update five, update six. We have um, update six, uh, of course, now, but we started out with update five. Let's get out of the radiation zone here. And uh, we spent 79 episodes in update five, and then we switched to uh, update six. Uh, interesting piece of trivia. Um, in the... Um, in the last uh, series, the Update 3 series that I did, it was also episode 100 when we turned nuclear on. And I think we're going to actually get nuclear turned on today. If we do, that would be pretty coincidental. I did not plan it at all. And uh, But on the other hand, um, the YouTube series for, uh, for uh, Update 3 was all that, and it was all... Um, uh, it was all shorter episodes, of course, but it was all on YouTube, and it was also a much smaller base. So the fact that the two have aligned to come together at the same place is, is pretty amusing, actually. And uh, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this thing turned on tonight. Uh, of course, that few minutes there that I spent not actually doing a stream, it uh, led to... well, it didn't lead to much. But I think I was looking at this, so they didn't actually go in here yet. Uh, and they won't, I guess not... Oh, we don't have them hooked up to these yet. That's right. So we're still stockpiling, or trying to stockpile, these uh, these uranium fuel rods. We have them right here. It is a pretty big winky dink, but totally unplanned. I didn't even notice it until uh, Tuesday when I was when I was uh, making the the title card for 99 and thought, oh, oh, creepy. All right, so um, so as these are continuing to be produced, uh, we should hopefully have... I'm hoping we get them back into that box, but I honestly don't know if that's going to happen or not either. It really just depends on how much we make in the time that it takes us to finish the rest of this base. So uh, last time we hooked up, I think, all of the inputs for uh, for these and these, and we, were, we also did maybe all of these, and I think we just had the... Um, yeah, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling uranium now. So, um, uh, I think all we have left is the uh, is I'm feeling radiation rather is the uh, is the acids. So we need to hook those up. Uh, sulfur comes into these two here, uh, which means that they need to come. It needs to come in on this side, and then into this one, it's uh, iron and nitrogen gas. Now, this is the pipe we have for nitrogen gas. We planned on running it that way somewhere to get back to that point. Um, what I think I'm going to do with it, though, is, or what I want to do first, rather, is I want to put in a water tank right here. Right in here. And the reason I want a water tank here is to serve as a buffer, because we need to get, we need to get some water in this loop. And uh, we're going to need a bit of a buffer of it. So let's do um, fluid buffer here. Is there a spot that I can go that will give me... No. No, it's going to clip against something no matter what I do. But I definitely want it here on this side. Um, actually, I might even put some valves in here, too. But I think we'll just go right there with it. And I'm going to take this pipe out this way. And up another level, I guess. Let's do this, and then we'll do that. Need to paint that now. Oh yeah, fluid buffers got added a while back. Oh, that's got to get painted too. Um, there's there's the small ones that hold 400 cubic meters and the large ones that hold 2,400 cubic meters. We don't need a large one. We could do a large one, but we don't need a large one. Uh, they must have gotten added in update four. Definitely by update five, but I think it was update four. 
Uh, we need to have rubber for valves. Alright, let's go get some rubber. Get some in the train. I don't have any on me. It's not something that... I think there's like two or three things that I rarely build that use rubber, so I don't usually keep it on me. Oh, I've got them all over my base here. Um, anywhere that I that I pipe fluid up... Um, nope, next, next car. Anywhere that I pipe fluid up a vertical, I try to put a buffer um, tank at the top of that vertical so that uh, you kind of have the... Um, uh, what's it called? The uh, the um, a water tower effect, so that because that's how a water tower works. It's just a pump that pumps water up into a tank that's up higher, and then the water falls back down and causes uh, pressure via gravity. So that's what I'm. That's all I'm doing here is doing the same thing. Um, we're gonna tap that water though, by the way, and bring it over here and run it into this uh, in a moment. What was I doing? Rubber. Oh, valves, right. There we go. Uh, so we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. This will just keep the water from sloshing. Because it's all getting spit out of this at a rate of 40 times 3 per minute. Wait, is that right? I know I'm, I'm taking radiation, not damage, but damage here. Um, That's fine. 120, yeah, okay. I was thinking I might need to downclock those, but I don't. And then these will consume 75% uh, of 50, so 37 and a half. Yeah. And these will consume 75% um, of 30, so 22 and a half. And uh, 37 and a half times 3? No, that's not right. Something isn't right. Oh, no, sorry. Um, yeah. Something isn't right. Something isn't right. Uh, nitric acid. We need to have one and a half blenders. Okay. So one and a half times 30 is 45. Oh, there's only two of these, not three of these. Jeez, oh, Pete, that's what the problem is. And then we have one and a half of these. So 37 and a half uh, here times two is 75. And 45 makes 120. Okay, back to work. Uh, that takes care of that. So the valves are just going to keep the water from sloshing back out of the tank to go that way, which is, this is the source of the water. And then um, it's going to keep the water from uh, sloshing back out of these pipes into the tank, uh, just to kind of keep things moving in this direction. Uh, we could do pumps too, but pumps are actually aren't necessary because we're not going up or down a height. Uh, speaking of going up or down a height, we need to take this out. Ooh, is that going to line up right? That would be pretty creepy if it did. I don't think it does, though. It does not. We're off by one. Should I move that just to make this thing right? Or should I just do this? We're just going to do this. And you'll go here. And then you'll go this way. And can we just go to this one? Yeah, we can. So one, oops, one more of you. Uh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Can I do a... Horizontal to vertical on that? Hmm. I cannot. I cannot. Can I go up another one then? Even though I don't really want to. I can, but we need to do it that way. Ooh, can I do that? No. Alright, fine. That it is. Take this out. Put one of these in here then. Take this out. Put one of those in. And then one of these in. But yeah, a lots of places here, whenever I have an assembly that uses water, I, I do... What what did I do? Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. That actually built itself inside of the other one. Okay. Sure, game. This one can go all the way down to here. And then I think from there we'll be able to go all the way uh, to the end. And we'll need to go... Uh, see, we're on one, two, three, four. Let's find our spot here. We'll need to go somewhere here. Uh, maybe I should have built it a little further off from the wall. That's fine. Right there. 
Then I want to pull this place out and see where we're at. Ooh. Nice. Perfect. I don't suppose you're going to be any way friendly to me. Nope. Nope, not at all. Alright, let's go over here. And, um... Actually, how far can this come down? Okay. Here. Like that. And then that's not going to quite work either. Um, we'll have to do... Wait a minute, am I not high enough? Oh, yeah, high enough. Okay. Uh, let's do... I don't want to save again. Thank you. Should I back this up by... Yeah, I think I should. I think it's got to go here then. And then this one can go right here then. Is that what I want? That's what I want. Is that right? Goes there. Then this comes in from there. This goes away. And the nitrogen gas is flowing. Okay, you can go back down. Good. Uh, I guess I can put this one in place. Yeah, because the sulfur's down below. So that can go there. That'll get us the nitrogen. Uh, then we need to get the sulfur in. Sulfur's coming from here. Uh, we have a Mark III belt that's carrying... Uh, let's see... 75 plus 120. And we're splitting it into two Mark II belts. The 75 comes this way. Uh, we should probably go up, but actually, maybe not. There's our uranium. These are the two places the sulfur needs to come in. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, here. I believe. Yeah. Go here. And then we're going to go that way. And I think this is six. It's based. There we are. Uh, what speed belt am I on? Mark 1. Uh, let's do a Mark 2 belt here. And then this should be just a Mark 1 lift. It is. Good. And you as well. I think we're going to do a little bit of shenanigans here because this... It's going to go right through there. So I think what we're going to do with this lift is do a right turn lift. And then bring this belt straight out from there, like this. Okay, I'll go here. Really? Alright, we're going to come back here then. Right spot. Okay. And this can come all the way down here again. To here. Down to here. And then I think I'm going to go this way. To here. And then like that. And that'll get us our sulfur. And then we just need to bring the iron in 
to these two. And uh, iron comes from that one? Yes. I'm going to go right here. I think it's there. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Iron's coming out this way. We'll do that. It's totally not clipping. Why did I put those there? Is that just the stretch of the belt? It was. Totally not clipping. And then we'll turn it onto a lift uh, right here, I think. Let's see, you are this one. So I did, this is fine. This should be here. Like that. Assuming you will behave yourself. Which actually, uh, it might. This is a space of is it eight or ten. Hold. Not eight. Not ten. Oh, fourteen. Oh, okay. And then this is a Mark One belt here, and Mark One lifts up here because there's like a tiny amount of iron that goes into this. Uh, a total of fifteen, seven and a half each. The tiniest amount. This will go here then, and I think. Oh, that's perfect. And then this will go back to there. And that's totally not clipping with those uh, support posts. All right, here comes our iron. Uh, and then we have our sulfur going in. Uh, we need to seed that water sp supply, though. So let's go do that. Uh, we're going to tap off of this water here. I wouldn't normally do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I just want to plug it in temporarily, so I don't really care where it goes or how it looks. This is just a temporary build. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to do this. <laughs> and while that's doing that, let's, uh, is this... Is nitrogen gas still? Yeah. Nitrogen gas. Oh, I forgot to paint that other one. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. And we need to paint this one as well. Nitrogen. Alrighty. So that should be filling up some water in this tank. Slowly. I want to get it about... Oh, I don't know. 120 units per minute. I'd like to have it about half full, I think. Because then we would get to... Um, then we probably have about three minutes worth in the loop. Because these are all going to fill up. And actually, they're already making nitrogen acid, so... Yeah, I don't want to go any more than half with this. And maybe not even that much. Because these are also filling up. Are you returning already? No, because I haven't... Okay, this is where it's going to bottleneck, because I don't have these things hooked up yet. Kind of on purpose. Well, we don't have any uranium waste anyway. Uh, we won't until we turn this whole thing on. And I am leeching off of the, um, the sulfur here, but the sulfuric acid over here, but it should be fine because um, it was backed up for a little while, I think. And plus there's that tank. 
Although maybe, just maybe, I should stop now. And see how this works. And not leech anymore until I know better. Okay, so we need to hook up some belts underneath still. Um, none of this stuff is hooked up to anything. And so, um... Let's see, we had the uranium here. I think that makes sense to do next. Go here. That fills up those three. Um, you... are what? This is waste. Yeah, this is waste. Coming from above. Okay, good. This one here is whatever this stuff is called, coming from over there. So we need to have a lift here. Oops. Autosave. Uh, how fast is this belt supposed to be? Just to mark one? Both of these are just mark one? Um, they're for the pressure conversion cubes? Yeah, these are hardly anything moving here at all. That goes to there. Perfect. Mark one. Out from there, into there. Should I re... Oh, that's not the right spot. Crap, stop, please. Stop. No, don't jump. No, there we go. How about now? There we go. Uh, let's just reconnect this like that so that it's snapped in properly. Then you go there. This one's going to require a few shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to need to have one of these... There. Yeah. And then we need one of these here, pointed the arrow that way. And then this goes from there to there. Nice. Getting better at those. I'll forget how to do them by the time I play this game again. Or they won't even work, one or the other. Uh, but, for now. Actually, we can get rid of these, um, these supports and these supports. They're, they were just here to mark my spot anyway. Uh, that should take care of those two items. Uh, we have concrete right here. Mark three belt goes into... somewhere. Here. I never put the belt on these. Oops. This should be mark one belt. These are the outputs of the plutonium... Fuel rods. And then that's going to go. We, we talked about figuring out a way to a path for that. That's waste. Whoopsie, indeed. And then this one. Uh, that's those. This is those. Okay, so, uh, acid is running. Wait, why are you not running? Not enough water. I was afraid of that. Yep, it's dry. Um, I think we should keep it going then, because these pipes aren't full yet. These are filling up, but we need more water. Uh, let's go do something slightly different then with the water, because I'm siphoning too much off, I think. Let's add another pump, or, uh, thing down here temporarily. Uh, whatever these things are called. I'm just going to screw one of these in here like this. And I'm just going to do a pipe like this. And I'm just going to run a power line like this. 
and this is just temporary. We're providing 130. Uh, we could max that out even for a little while. That'll put us up to 180 plus 120, that's 300. And then we can rerun our uh, linkage pipe here. Uh, here. Ooh, let's put it over here, actually. Like that. Just to be safe, I'm going to actually put a valve on this, too. That way the water only goes that way. Uh, this is now flowing pretty well. Pretty well. And we'll just need to check these numbers again. We want these to be basically all backed up, I think. All four of these. And they're just now refilling again, but they haven't backed up at all yet, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, so that should take care of... Well, let's see if this takes care of everything. Uh, we have here everything but the uranium waste. Perfect. All topped off as well. We have here nothing because we don't have any uranium waste to make this, the, the non-fissile uranium. To make the plutonium pellets. Uh, we should check these to make sure they have everything as well, I suppose. Just to be safe. So we don't have any plutonium pellets coming forward now. Um... Which I guess I'll need to check those if I... Yeah. Uh, we are making here uh, three machines worth, well, times 0.75 pressure conversion cubes. Those are going to take a little while to make and back up on the belt. But they've, they're all supplied and they're all coming out. Those come out and go into the machines that are facing backwards here. Uh, these are making the plutonium fuel rods. They're going to need to get filled up and caught up a little bit here. Um... The ones on the end probably haven't even gotten anything. And then obviously they don't have any... Uh, uh, sorry, these don't have any plutonium pellets, even though they're getting full on concrete. So they're not making the encased plutonium cells. And so then we don't have any for these. But if we go down here to the end, I'm guessing that we don't have any... We might be a little short on concrete here still. Yeah, just now reaching there because of the manifold. And we barely have gotten one pressure conversion cube down here. So it's going to be a little bit of time before this can fill up. Uh, maybe I should have started that sooner. Maybe. Maybe. How are you doing? You're still crafting. You're still crafting. got a lot to go yet but now we're pushing 300 water through this pipe which is maxed out at 300 but it's fine uh, hopefully at least yeah we're just consuming it all right now what's not going into these three at 120 is going across here at 180 hey addicted welcome or should be anyway i still don't get why these numbers fluctuate so badly to make any sense these should be consuming exactly 120 total. No questions asked. Therefore, 180 should be going through this pipe. And yet it's all over the board. I don't understand. According to this, 300 is going out. Uh, almost 300 is going out. How are you tonight, Addicted? Well, this says we have 160 coming in, but that's also counting... No, it's not either. It's not counting this, because there's nothing coming out of this. So, we're getting 160 in here. Fluid is horrible. Thank you. Yes, you're right, more beer. By the way, I don't think I actually said hi to more beer and Salty Wolf when you could hear me. So, um... Welcome, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it's basically just, like, a fudge factor at this point. I just want to get some water in this buffer... And then, uh, that'll be... That'll make me happy. How, where are we at with a quantity of... Uh, no, not the gas. The nitric acid, which is this one. Let's just go over here and look. Over here. It's getting full. 
And the sulfuric acid might be full already. Or at least really, really close. Yeah, it's it's full. We might actually 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 have to stop this. No, I think they're fine to back up. I think they're fine. I just remembered that I don't think I said hi to you guys after I fixed my sound. I said hi before I fixed my sound, but you obviously didn't hear that. So, yeah. Hmm, how much more do we have to go before this thing is happy and full? It's only like, it's hard to say, but that pipe's only about half full. Now it thinks it's moving 300. Oh, because these probably weren't consuming any. Okay, there's some fluctuation because of that then. Because it's not a average over time. It's a... Um, it's a... It's a... It's a... In the moment. Tomorrow's going to be a rough day for the kids. Yeah, these are just about ready to stop. Actually, that one has. Okay, so that means more water will get focused toward uh, nitric then, I guess. Or it'll start backing up a little more in here, I guess. We're still pulling all... How is that pulling 160? Oh, COVID boosters. Fun. How are you still moving 160? That doesn't make much sense. You should be moving at most 45 now. Again, that's probably it. Just lying. Yeah, it doesn't know what it's doing. You're drunk. Drunk. Hmm. I'm tempted to stop it again. Not closer to 60, closer to 75. Yeah. Well. Hmm. I wish I, I wish you could tell how much fluid is in the whole segment. Like not the, oh, so the whole network, sorry. Um Yeah, I wish you could tell how much how much fluid's actually in the whole network. It would be nice. Wait, why are you flying back? Oh, probably because this one finished. And so then this one... Yeah, probably. Sloshing. It's sloshing. Hmm. I want to say we're probably at enough now. Yeah, I would think so. We've, we've added a lot to this network now, so... Let's take this out. And take this out. Then we can go back down and take out that extra pump. Or extractor, rather. There. 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 And then this can get clocked back down to about 130. Just so we have a slight surplus of water for that uh, part. Net positive. That's all we need. It's just a little bit positive. Just to fight the fluid mechanics just a little. And again, that shouldn't be able to fill more than 130. Because that's all we're pumping. But it does. It weirdly does. 
All right, so I think, I think everything's ready. I think. Uh, we could wait a little bit longer to make sure these get a few more things here. Not you. You. They have two. They're going to use a half of one a minute. So we could wait a little bit longer to let this balance out, let this buffer up. But I think we're okay to go ahead and try and turn this thing on. What do you guys think? Have we done everything? Is everything ready to go? No, it's not. One more thing we need to do. We need to set up a shredder. Uh, that shredder needs to be... Somewhere we can get this belt to it. So that puts it... Um, here in this line someplace. Uh, I'm not going to put it in exactly where I want it. I'm going to put it in somewhere near where I want it. It's going up here. That was just where I wanted to put the pass through in. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna go right in this area here someplace. Actually, let's back this up a little. Yeah. Drop, uh, passing the belt up, actually. The belt's already under. Um, it's just a pass-through. So, something like this would be really good. Uh, maybe right there would be good. We'll put this right there. This just needs to be a Mark I belt. There we go. And uh, power for this thing can come off of here. Actually, we can just pull it right off of the bus directly. Eh. Just cut power to half the base. No biggie. It goes right there. And then this one's going to go... Uh, may have picked the worst possible spot for this. No, wait. Two... Yeah, kind of did. It's also supposed to go on that same height as that belt. Oopsie. Uh, I think we're just going to do it... On the ground? Maybe? Well, then I guess I could have come over a bit more. Well, although I couldn't, I guess. This will be fine. Sort of. Okay. Is that where I want it? Or is it... Yeah, that's it. Okay. And then this will go... There, I think. That might not let me do what I want to do. At all. Nope. This side, please. Oh, there it is. R. There we go. I could. That's true. I could run it under the floor. Um. I think we'll just do this. That's totally logical. Totally fine. Alright, so that should shred those plutonium fuel rods. Then. We have 87 tickets ready to print. <laughs> uh, how many did you end up with? Uh, PCC. Still just two. That's the only part that scares me with this. Is that those aren't distributing well because of the... the you can. Yeah, you have to trick it a little bit. I'll do it again to show you what you have to do. Um, if you want to, you have to have, you have to start with a, um, start with one of these, uh, the regular, you know, floor model, and then three spaces away. And if you're using smart, you want to make sure the arrow is pointing away from you. One, two, three spaces away. And then attach the lift to the short one, and then you can rotate it and it just snaps to the taller one. Like that. And you can also do the right angle one like I just did. 
the positioning of the of the stacker is a little bit closer. It's only two away, and it's directly in front, like this. No, it's actually only one away. I lied. Right there. And again, the arrow, if you're using smart, it has to be facing outward. But then it goes like this. And that's how you do it. So you can do them either with a turn or with a straight one. I just wanted to show you that so you can see you can do how you do them straight. <sighs> do I want to turn this on yet? Yeah, you have 18. And the other one has two. That's the part that scares me because I have... So the encased plutonium cells are coming from their adjacent ones, but those are being fed one to three into these, one, two, three, like that. So that's the part that scares me because they are, um, they're more evenly split. Yeah, I can see them doing it for sure. But then again, maybe not. I mean, I didn't make it up, so there's other people who've been doing it for a while. Hmm. Hmm. I guess let's just do it and see what happens. Right? So in order to turn this thing on, we have to go from one reactor at a time uh, after the autosave. And put in the lift. Uh, the lift that goes right here. That's a good point, too. More beer. They, they'll leave stuff in just because it's kind of funny. Um, and that, that short lift is definitely funny. Ooh, look, we got uh, some glowies going on here. Nice. That's true, too. I f oh, I forgot about the clipping thing, yeah. I mean, the, the whole soft and uh, hard... Um, uh, whatever it's called here. And I'm purposely starting from the near side of the source of this. Yeah, they're glowing, too. Mm -hmm. So that these can get a few of these ones that are sitting on the belt here. Um, before the rest of them get stolen. Yeah, that's that's the counter-argument for sure, is that they could do it just to troll us. But it seems like the things that they choose to do to troll us are innocuous things. At least mostly. Alright, let's come up here and see if these are all spewing. Spew. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. They're both right. And these will store up a lot. They'll buffer up a lot. So, um, the ones here on the end, that's why I started on this end, on the source end. Uh, they are going to only have a few. But they're also going to get split first every time from this point forward. So, kind of, I think it'll balance out in the end. And there'll be a nice, huge buffer of uranium fuel rods in these machines at all times. In theory, these should start kicking on. Oh, they are kicking on. Okay. Because uh, we are providing 45 times, uh, well, 45 times 120 water. We only need 45 times 300. Or, sorry, we're providing 45 times 120. We only need 15 times 300. So we're providing a little bit more water than we need. And uh, these are these are burning power. We're producing 58,200 power now. Uh, before, I didn't write down what it was before. Oops. But it was like 20-something. So, And yeah, as long as there's a buffer, they will all fill up. We are, well, we are producing at uh, consumption, though. So... Um, they might not all fill up. 
Um, we might end up with some shortages on the far ends because this one's going to get 50%, that one's going to get 25, 12 and a half, 6 and a quarter, and then, uh, but then eventually that one's going to fill up all the way, and then this one will get more, and then that one's going to fill up all the way, and then this one's going to get more. So it'll probably work out okay, which is why I'm not fretting over it. Well, that and I don't care that much because this is way more power than we need. But um, that's a problem for future Wally. Hopefully we won't still be playing this game. As you can see, all the waste is spewing out now. Uh, we are producing 150 waste per minute. So we have three belts of 50 here. Coming into a bus of 150 on a Mark III belt. Coming down. Getting sent down there. Or I can irradiate myself a little bit here. Split into half. And then half goes into each set of these things. They're zooming along down here. That's also why I kept the belts a little bit faster. So we'd try and get as much uh, into each one of those as possible. So then those are going in uh, into here at a rate of 25 per minute. And we're producing um, plutonium pellets here now. Yeah, um, I saw someone on, uh, um, uh, RuneSun's Discord today mention that, uh, they built, I think it was 45 reactors. I think it was 45 reactors. So, they've already put me to shame, but then again, I didn't really plan on, uh, competing with anybody on this. I just wanted to do a good size build. And this is a good size build. 15 reactors is a good size build. Uh, let's see. So um, we're getting the waste in here we need. Uh, we're producing the non fissile uranium. That's getting passed over here. Yes, I did recycle. Oh, yes, I did. That's what we were just hooking up. <laughs> uh, and then this is, um, this is taking that non fissile uranium, turning it into pellets. And then those pellets are getting split three ways and getting chucked into these. Wait, they're not getting chucked into those. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Somebody didn't hook something up right. Oh, here they come. Maybe that was just the first set. Because there they are. One, two, three... These ones are going to be a little bit behind because of the belt and the, the manifold. We should have... Yeah, we have green lights here now. Okay. Uh, so then these are going to make the encased plutonium cells. I love these. These are just amazing. The animation of these is just amazing. Of course, and then it turns off. It'll kick back on in a minute, though. So all these are going to light up green. The ones facing uh, forward are going to light up green. And then they're going to pass their outputs into here. And once we get uh, 20 of them, then this will kick on and produce a fuel rod. One, two, three... Uh this one, this one, and that one. That one just kicked on. They do look like Stargates, yeah. That one just kicked on. That one just kicked on. And then we have uh, this one, this one, and this one. These two are on, and this one will get its supply here in a moment. They shoot like Stargates. And that's green as well. And then they're going to pass their outputs to their adjacent one of these. It should be... Getting there soon. Uh, each two pass to one. Uh, two here pass to this one. Two here pass to this one. Two here pass to this one. And then this one is one and a half. Half of this one. Wait a minute. This one and this is a half one. Sorry. Uh, so that's still at ratio. Why don't I like other types of games? I don't know what you mean. I like lots of types of games. You see my YouTube channel? I 
I don't like first person shooters. That's true enough. Um, I don't really like lots of combat, which is why I don't like first person shooters. Man, there's so much radiation here now. No, that's half. Half city builder, half factory builder. Oh, yeah, check it out, Salty. Um, you come over from Og's Discord, I think, right? And so I really only post, I think, in his, maybe the first episode of new games. So you may miss them. And I may not actually remember to post them all in his Discord. I may not remember to post them all any everywhere, but, yeah. Um, everything goes in my Discord, though, if you want to if you want to join that. I have a channel where all my videos get auto-posted, because if I had to post them myself, they wouldn't get posted. And um, I also have a channel where all my streams get announced. Uh, you can subscribe to that. Well, Caladorn, you could, re you could resolve that uh, problem. Also welcome. Also, speaking of Caladorn... He says that he's going to start streaming again. Honestly, I don't remember if you are or not, Salty Bulls. I don't think so. But you could be. Next week, you said, right? I mean, in like a few days, but next week. Next calendar week. And an autosave kicked in. Thank you. Alright, so now I think we're making these. This. It'll take a little bit of time. And of course we're sitting here again in the radiation zone, but we've got our filters. And we've used five of them so far uh, with this build. So that's something. As soon as this pops out, I just want to follow it, make sure it makes it to the shredder safely. And then I think we can call it... Hey, Red-Eyed Sniper. Oh, Addicted, you may be surprised. You may be surprised. Alright. So that takes care of this. Hopefully. Hopefully. Wait, where'd it go? Um... I hooked this to the wrong spot. That doesn't go there. This is the output I wanted. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, you go here. And then... There. There they go. Our first two plutonium fuel rods bound for the shredder. They will be destroyed. I'd be taking a crap ton of radiation damage right now if I were not wearing a protective suit. The only problem is I've done this so that I can't even see them get up here, but if I do this, I'll see them go through the lift at least. Possibly. There they are. I just saw them. There they are. And there it shreds. Nice. All right. So this is all working. With this build now working, we have to tweak two things elsewhere in the base. Uh, nitrogen gas extraction. 
Need 90 more. Uh, we probably should have done that before this, but it's fine. And uh, radio control units, we need three more uh, per minute. Um, minimum. Um, so I think what we're going to do is leave this area and uh, let it just run. Um, we're, we're providing nuclear power. We've got our uh, 58,000 and change uh, megawatts going. Um, we have a decent supply of uranium fuel rods in most of the reactors, so we won't, hopefully, at least, uh, run out. We are at 58 and change here. I think 58.2 is the is the fixed point, but I did not write down how much power oh, we could we could find out actually. If I break this line here, and I come down to here. Uh, 28.2 and that was 58.2 so 30,000, is that right? each one of these guys produces 2,500 times 15 is 37.5 hmm Why is it only going up by 30,000? Did I misconnect something? Or misconnecting something? We're missing three. Hmm. Well, that one. This one? How did I do that? And this one. Okay. That was kind of dumb. Okay, maybe more than kind of. I don't know how I did that, but hey, we're debugging, right? 65.7. Twenty-eight two hundred plus thirty-seven five hundred is sixty-five seven hundred. Yay! Yeah, I know it. Oh, they were all steaming because they're all producing. Um, but they just weren't connected to the uh, power network. Which I checked them all; they were steaming when we hooked when we um, after we hooked up all the belts. I need to paint some, some of these pipes. Yeah. Because it's nuclear. These pipes all need to be painted. Totally forgot about that. At least they do the animation. It's possible that they weren't actually producing electricity, but they were doing the animation. Oh, crap. Nope. I match them to the color of the fluid that's flowing. Usually. But, um... I forgot. Um, all my factory buildings are green. My sort of factory standard color here. I meant to pa repaint these last time, I guess, or something, and just forgot. But since I like the supports to still be green, I don't change the color when I build. 
That actually isn't straight, is it? That's all right. I'm not going to fret over it either. Green is an unlucky color. Why do you say that? I'm not going to do the little tiny pipe, though, that's inside of the, basically inside of the reactor. Um, it'd just be too hard to target. And I don't think it's worth the time. But this, these pipes are fun to make in the last couple of uh, streams. I haven't actually done piping like this before, so it's kind of a nice uh, change. Sounds like superstition to me. The standard color for Aston Martins is green. Um, and those are performance vehicles, so um, I'm going to lean towards that. And also lean away from every time but I think it's coincidence I mean race cars crash all the time anyway so yeah all right so we have um, we have everything running now um, I guess I can seal this box off there. Uh, eventually, if I decide to finish this, I'll build it down. <laughs> you make a good point. You make a very good point. Why are you not running? Not enough plutonium pellets. Okay, that's fine. I assume these are all the same. Just out of plutonium. And that's just going to be a balanced thing that'll level itself off eventually. I hope. Alright, well I think this is good. I think. Everything's hooked up. Um, our buffer here is is serving its job. Which is just to hold a little bit of water to keep it... to keep us from running low anywhere. Uh, these are all pulling in plenty of water. Um, so that's all I have to worry about is that these have enough water to craft another craft before they finish the one before it, which they are, and that uh, there's enough, there's not so much water in this pipe that these can't output it. And there's not. Uh, I mean, it's, this pipe's half full, but that's all that matters, is that this loop maintains um, equilibrium of some kind. And again, as long as that yeah, we're just barely getting enough waste here. But as long as that uh, water empties out before this can craft, then we're fine. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head over to work on those other factories that need a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, well, one's not a factory. One's just a uh, mine extraction point. Uh, we're going to take the train with us. It's been a long time since we drove anywhere on the train, so I'm going to take the train. Uh, we need to go to N2 gas first. Uh, we are... I don't even know where the hell we were last. I guess we were at the mall last. So probably here. Nope. Here. Yep. Another 90. 
90. I think the minimum amount we can do is 120 anyways, so... Or at least in increments of 60. So we'll have to set up 120, which isn't a bad thing. To set up a little bit more, we'll be good to go. Uh, the worst part of it could be that we may have to run another vertical pipe. If we have too much here, but I don't know if we do or not, actually. Let's go see if we can find out in the spreadsheet while we're driving over there. We can kind of do a small tour of the factory while we're at it. Excuse me. Yeah, normals are 60, peers are 120. We're piping right now uh, 420, so we have plenty of room in our pipes. Let's see, uh, which way is it going to take us? That's the question. I did not know. This is the same headset. Uh, just depending on the way the camera works today, it could look different. But it's the same. I've had this headset for ages. Actually, it's probably time to get a new one because it's getting a little bit worn here around the earpieces. All right, we're coming this way. So we're driving past our battery factory here. Uh, this takes in mostly raw materials and outputs batteries two different ways. One way to the mall, one way out to nuclear. Oh, it's probably just the um, the way the camera picks it up. Because um, it's uh, I'm using a uh, di uh, digital background removal. So depending on how it phases things in and out, it may or may not be picking up everything. Uh, oh, we need to come back here to the mall, too, to set up the nuke knobs. Um, we have here uh, our mall and armory underneath the mall uh, that is um, basically everything being made in the factory is being shipped back here for collection and here we are we picked out this spiral to use didn't know which one it was going to choose but it chose this one the pathfinder did but yeah it's um uh XSplit is what I'm using, and it uh, it just captures, um, it yeah we yeah, it uh, it just kind of deletes out everything behind me, uh, magically. It works really well, surprisingly. Speaking of uh, nitrogen gas, there's our train. Um, it works surprisingly well given the fact that uh, it's all digital, and I don't have a green screen at all. It's just all digital green screen. Eventually, we need to remove this um, this coal power. <laughs> We don't have to, but I probably will when we start working on the um, on uh, the fourth uh, the fourth phase for the uh, space elevator, uh, which is actually going to start on Saturday because we're done with nuclear now. And now, which way are we going? This way. Okay. And this is the uh, radio control unit factory, so we need to... Oh, boy. That's going to be fun to, to expand again. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. That one, we need to... We're making... We have six buildings, making 27. So each one makes four and a half... Uh, we'll probably add two buildings to it. Probably add two buildings to it. Even though we only really need one. Uh, we'll probably add two just because of uh, numbers. It is vast, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I built mostly in the desert and the northern forest, but I have that bit up there in the um, 
in in the red forest, and then and now in the Titan forest, and out in the swamp where the nuclear is. It's a uh, it's just been a fun and uh, highly involved uh, factory. I mean, this is this is um, stream 100 of the series, by the way. Um, so that's definitely something. Yeah, I think we could tie in right here. It's probably the easiest one to do, unless that's a normal. Which you can't actually tell. Ran out of power. You can't actually tell until you put the thing on it, I think. Uh, potential is 780. Hmm. Only one of these is normal, according to the map site, and that's this one. So we should be okay to just add one in here. Uh, let's build this out. Maybe I should build it up too while I'm at it. Like that. Or like this. And then go here. Why do you not want to be straight on there? Okay. That works. And then these are all wonky anyway because of the positioning of all this stuff. So I'm just going to do this by eyeball. And of course we get an auto save. Thank you there. So, this will be fine as um, mark 1. Because that's uh, 120 plus 120 is 240. And then we just have our main line here that's all uh, up to 600. Uh, that puts us at oh, paint. Paint. That puts us at uh, another pure. So, that's four pure nodes. It should be plenty. Uh, wait. Let's see here. You? No, this one here. This one here is the normie. Oh, it does tell me. No, that's, that isn't normal. This one is normie. That means there's another one... That's probably, I probably built over it. According to the map, there's another one... Or is it talking about this one? It's talking about this one. Okay. So, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the seventh one is right there. No, there's... I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Four times 120 plus 60. So we have that one and this one that we could pick up as well. And that would give us 780. But we don't need it, so I'm not going to do it. And then that should be just moving all the gas up here. I probably should have done the dual tank thing here, too. Like I did at the output of this. Because this only stores 400. And this stores 2400. But the train can carry 18, I think. Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me. I think the train can carry 18. Uh, but I need to get the heck out of here because the trains are going to start yelling at me here. So let's go to... Uh, uh, radio... No, we can't park there. Uh, FMF. Need to park here. Oops. Go there. Do this. Yeah, now there's two... Well, you're full, so I'm not worried about you, but... That train that's parked there empty might be the train that we need for nuclear, so... Be careful with that. We also should probably check the time on that and make sure that it's not uh, running dry because we're using 180 nitrogen gas per minute and if it's only carrying 1800 that means it needs, needs to make that full round trip in 10 minutes um, and it might not be 
It might be a little longer than that. If it's a little longer than that, then we're going to need to put a second train on that loop. Same thing with the uh, sulfur. Um, we're bringing in... Uh, 275, I think it is, sulfur. No, 195 sulfur per minute. So unless the train, which I think carries 2,400 sulfur, um, can run in whatever time that is. Let's put another 10 minutes. Then we're in trouble there too. So... Just gonna follow the track around. Do I have a reasonable supply of everything? Probably. Um, follow the or the train. Yeah, the train tracks around here, rails around, and we'll just go in there. And we're just gonna add two more uh, buildings making radio control units and two more buildings making uh, uh, crystal oscillators because they're fed one to one. Which means we're going to have to move these three lifts down again. Uh, these will cover one, two, three, four, five foundations. So the first thing we need to do is add five foundations here. And that's not going to help me much. That's, what if I do th oops, this? Yeah. To there. Nice. New smart feature. Let's place these where they need to go. Uh, there and there. And that'll give me an idea of where these lifts need to go. Which is going to be... Right on that line. Uh, just behind... Just behind the end of the machine here. So somewhere like this. And then these ones will go there and here. Actually, I probably could get away with one less. But we'll see. This may or may not be the right spot for these, though. You were there? No, you're not. You are up by one more meter. So we need to come up, we need to go upstairs and make sure that these are in a good spot upstairs as well. Here. And here. That is up here. Um, no, we need to go out a little bit further. That's fine. We can come out. Wait, where do you, you go from that one? Alright, so let's come out here, maybe, then. It also gives me enough room to make a turn out of this one. Ooh. That's going to be perfect. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, wait, that's not, that's not the right one, anyway. It gives me enough room to make a turn out of this one. Uh, oops. Press the wrong button. Like this. And then that'll come out here and come this way instead. And this one will just get cut off and come in through there. And all will be well. Alright, so take these out. Pull these back to that line. Oops. I'm going to leave this panel out for right now. i take this one out too. Ooh. Big old gaping hole there. And we'll just leave all this foundation in here. It's fine. got to be careful, because if I send myself down here... Oh boy. I need to fix those. I don't understand you, game. Why you do that thing to me. Nope, the other way. Gotta rebuild these. Oh, I wonder if it's when you snap them like that. Is that what does it? 
Yeah, sort of. I don't know, it's still weird. Either way. Right after you slice it, it's still weird. And that one does have one poking through, too. At least I think it was that one. Yep, it was you. Alright. I think it's when you snap them together, like like that when you when you do the force snap. I think. Alright, so um we need to recreate some of this stuff that's here. Uh, which means we need to have all of these inputs marked. These are all four. And of course the outputs too. Run the power. This, just copy, paste, paste. This is just to mark one output. These are super duper slow. These ones are two, one, one, one. Oops, two and two. One. One, 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 one. Like that. I need to mark these as well, so let me put this floor back in. Oops. Auto save. I have not played Foundry since the end of my YouTube series, no. It's, um... I probably won't play... I mean, I won't, definitely won't do another series again. I need plastic. Damn it. Uh, until they update with the, something decently major. Um... That was just a cheap flight there. Oh, we got a golden one. I'm gonna redo that one then. I like it. It's fun, but I'm not gonna keep it. Um, and I haven't even poked at it at all. I. Had, it's kind of funny, um, streaming uh, and doing YouTube so much that I um, I, t I don't have a whole lot of free time to just play games. Um, somewhat ironically, um, I do spend a little bit of time, but we're looking at, okay, we're leaving out number two. Um, we're looking at more like, uh, a few hours a week, um, is about all I do on my own. Let me take these, uh, that one, actually just this one, take this one back out, because of the two lifts that it was inside. Uh, these are all Mark 1s, I believe. Yep, they are. And then next we have to do these lifts, or these splitters, rather. I don't have any power. I forgot to connect power to those. Dang it. That'll go there, and this will go here. They did the texture of the blast furnace. Yeah, they had done that, like, right after I finished that series. And then... Uh, but you haven't gotten it to work. I know Malarian had his working. 
because uh, he mentioned having it done. Um, I just I couldn't really tell you if he did anything special or not because um, this is uh, the one on number four uh, because I don't remember um, honestly, but I don't think so because when I was doing my demonstration episode of it, uh, he was basically like he did the same thing only that he didn't build his to maximum uh, capacity. Uh, just two of these, please. Spacing of 14, I believe. Yeah, it looks like great. Yep. I don't know what the belt speed is on these, but it's definitely not that, so we're going to leave that alone. Uh, that's you. Uh, then the next one is these the AI limiters. They actually come down over here. No, wait, they're going to the other set. Never mind. the air that doesn't start. Hmm. Sorry, I wish I could help. This is where the AI limiters go here. So they're in number three. Yeah, they're in number three. And they're split from from uh, from this direction as well. Hey, Deaf Gamer Girl. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. My name is uh, Wally. I am a variety streamer, but I do a lot of factory games. Um, and I do a lot of city building type of games. Um, this is Satisfactory. We are... Um, we are... Uh, we are nearing the end of this series, actually. We probably only have a handful of streams left. Um, this is stream number 100. Um... What were you playing? Satisfactory as well. Nice. Uh, so we have a rather uh, large factory here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, each building, each spot here, is a different item being made. Sometimes more than one item. Um, in each one of these buildings or these these uh, these supported areas here, um, all scattered all over the uh, the rocky desert and the northern forest, we get a little bit up here into the uh, the red forest. We just finished the, our nuclear plant tonight. Uh, that was, um, I don't know how many streams in the making. Um, many hours, anyway. And that's um, that's over there in the swamp. Way, way over there. Uh, and yeah, so we have almost everything being made at a good, uh, at a good rate. Have a good night. Thank you for the raid. Um... We have pretty much everything being made in the game. The only thing we need to do now is finish the the uh, the uh, space elevator phase four, but we have to do a few more uh, tweaks here to make make sure this factory is making enough stuff. So that's what we're doing right now here for radio control units. We're setting up a, a couple more uh, factory buildings here so that we can um, expand this out a little bit more. And I'm going to go back down to regular flight mode here so we can continue working on it. Uh, down here... Nope. Wait a minute. No? No. Here. It's 14. Right there. Alright, have a good night, more beer. We're gonna wrap up here in a couple of minutes anyway, so we're not gonna end up finishing this tonight. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's, um, just an involved process, you know? And then we also have, uh, coming from here, rubber. And that's in slot one, which is... Here. That's not correct. Oh, it is correct. It is correct. Okay. That's correct. Have a good night. Uh, more beer. We'll see you next time. Let's do 2 and 14. There. And that stages out all of those. Ow. Um, we're going to have to 
tear these lifts apart to bring uh, to bring the materials down the different spot. Um, and then we're gonna have to do um, allergies. Ugh. Um, we have to recalculate some of these belts to make sure that we have enough materials uh, being brought down these lines, and then we'll have uh, we'll have them uh, we'll have them everything being fed into here. Then uh, I guess I could do this, and we'll be able to connect these up. Oh, we can do the output too. That would help. We can actually do all these splitters here. Uh, let's see, you are going right here. How did I miss by that much? Oh, never mind. The lift missed. I didn't miss. There we go. Fourteen here. And this one's fine to hook up because we have such a little small amount going this way that I can hook that belt up. And I can even hook these lifts up too. And then uh, here, oof, we have. Uh, let's start with this one. Just coming down here. Uh, let's start with this one. This is in slot four. On height two. Should be there. And then... Uh, you... Come from this way... Into slot... Three... And height two. Auto save. And we're at, we're at time, but... I'm going to give it two more minutes just to put all these uh, splitters in place so that we can pick up right here afterward. And then up here at height three, uh, slot one, which is right here. go all right so that'll and then these ones go one to the other so we can hook them up whenever we want but we'll do that a little bit later so we're gonna leave this here i think um and then uh next time on saturday night uh, saturday will be an evening stream saturday night we're going to um finish this up and then i think we'll start looking at the numbers for the uh for the space elevator uh phase four and that'll be the final um the final project we have to do in this space so let's find ourselves a raid target we'll take all of uh deaf gamer girls folks with us i think we're going to raid um Then we're going to raid Mr. Taco. We didn't raid him yet this week. Actually, it's been a while since we have raided him, I think. He is also playing Satisfactory. He is a charity streamer. Um, so, uh, everything he makes on his channel goes into uh, uh, Extra Life charity, I believe. Yeah, Extra Life. Uh, so, say hello to Mr. Taco with me. Uh, stick around for the raid. And uh, we'll see you all again on Saturday night for a little bit more Factorio. Or, Factorio, Jesus. Satisfactory. Um, and uh, we will uh, we'll finish this up. We'll switch to the uh, the space elevator work. That's going to take some time. I'm not sure how much time, but some time. And then we'll have to pick out a new game for the next streaming series. So let me know what you might want to see. 
Um, keeping it within the genres that I usually play, probably. Uh, but by all means, reach out to me. Uh, you can t tell me here in chat uh, in the next few streams or hit me up on Discord or uh, anything, any other, any other way you want to reach out to me. Um, so thank you guys for coming, and uh, we'll uh, thank you again for the raid, Def Gamer Girl, and we'll see you all on, uh, on Saturday. Have a good one. Bye for now.